What's up guys, welcome back. Today is the day. The excitement cannot be contained any longer. The weather is lovely, the birds are chirping, vibrations are in alignment, and if the Mustang God shall allow it, we will be firing Miss Parker up on the new setup for the first time today. That's right, today boys, so get stoked. I've been out here for a little while now, buttoning up the last of the things that we needed to do in order to fire up the car for the first time. Uh, we got the intake manifold reinstalled. As you can see, we added a BBK intake manifold spacer to give us a little bit more clearance for the new fuel rails, as well as help keep our IETs down, which is sick. Uh, I got the TPS and the IAC sensor harnesses extended and we got those plugged in. So we are pretty much dialed in at this point. And if you take a walk with me over here, you'll have to excuse the mess because I've been working like a mad scientist lately, but this is my to-do list and we have everything crossed off except for turn on car for the first time, smiley face. So I think the time has come. We just have to input some information into the Holly first, and then we can attempt to fire up Miss Parker for the first time on the new setup. Just gotta get this old girl uncovered. It's been a minute. Miss Parker's been in uh, hibernation. All right, if I said I wasn't nervous right now, I'd be lying. I just really, really want everything to work. So now that we're in the car, you can see I got the Terminator X all plugged in. Let's make sure we're in neutral here. Fire it up. And the Holly is turning on. Perform auto before startup. Okay, let's go to wizards. Nope, go back. What, look at my screen real quick though. So sick, I don't know how to. Ooh. Sorry, we're getting sidetracked here, boys. Kind of like that one. And I kind of like that one. I don't know, we'll just leave it on that one right now. Let's go back to the little three and a half inch touchscreen. Let's go wizard, MPFI. Next, can you guys see? Nope, nope, go back. Select. Maybe if I just use my thumb. All right, here, we're gonna go, can you guys see? I think we're gonna go to this guy, 93V8. Eight cylinder, regular Ford 5.0, cubic inches. Uh, we are, This thing is like super laggy. Ooh, got 307, 306, baby. Can you guys see that? Maybe. Next, target idle speed. Let's go up to like 750. I could lower it later if I want to camshaft I think it's above 260 let me double check give me a second yeah so I have an e303 cam advertised advertised duration is like 284 so 260 above 260 next Ford TFI eight cylinder damn why is this thing so laggy see like I'm clicking forward there we go 43 psi for the fuel pressure Injectors, oh there. Damn, this thing is hella laggy, bro. This is crazy. Other. Oh, uh, I 
80 pound Simon Deckers. Come on, baby. No. Bro. Power Adder. Turbo Baby. This is unbelievable. I click my selection, map sensor. I got the Holly 3 bar. I believe it's the 554107. Again, you click it and then you go to click your number and it just scrolls down for you. This is unbelievable. Okay. Wide open throttle timing at zero. Uh, I'm just going to put it at what I have it, what I have the distributor set at right now which is 19 degrees and then later on I can open up the laptop and change all of that as needed. Timing retard. I'm just going to do zero right now. Wide open throttle target air fuel. Um, let's do... Offset. Loading up the tune. Okay. Finish and slowly press the pedal to the floor and release it twice. TPS auto set was successful. Done monitors I think we can shut her off now and try to power her up fingers crossed boys here goes nothing no start dang it dang it dang it dang it that was what uh, I feared most. That's why I've been procrastinating on doing this. And uh, yeah, it just happened. The car didn't start. So now it's back to the drawing board because I have no idea why the car wouldn't start. Uh, it didn't even attempt to turn over, which tells me that the starter is not getting signal. I'm not even sure at this point. But that sucks. Try one more time before we uh, go back under the knife, I guess. Nope. Damn it, man. All right, so I've been doing some trial and error behind the scenes, and I started off basically uh, jumping the two terminals on the starter solenoid from uh, the left side that has constant uh, power from the battery to the right side that is the cable that goes to the starter, and the starter turned over. I then put the cable from uh, the positive side of the battery on the solenoid to the top part which is the signal for the uh, starter and the starter did not turn over so I think the starter solenoid is bad but you know it's gonna take a few days for me to order a new starter solenoid to test that theory but I figured you know what I just want to get this over with my anxiety is literally killing me so I think we're gonna try to turn the car on by jumping the starter at the solenoid and uh, yeah hopefully we can get her to fire up I don't want to run her for too long but uh, let's see if we can't get it to fire up. I'm basically going to use this piece of cable here just to touch both sides of the starter solenoid and uh, yeah hopefully Miss Parker fires up for us so I got to put you guys down for a second and here we go. Come on, Miss Parker. Come on, girl. Nah. 
It's like I need to uh, give it gas. Eventually. All right, I got another update for you guys. So apparently the starter solenoid has to be grounded. Now it is naturally grounded when it's sitting in its factory location. The actual bracket that the starter solenoid sits on is the ground. So once that's touching ground, the solenoid is grounded. Who to thunk it? I didn't think it, I had no idea. And uh, if you don't know, we now have our starter solenoid mounted on a piece of ABS plastic, which is sitting behind the glove compartment. And ABS plastic, it's not such a good ground. So once I found that out, I ran a cable from a chassis ground to the little bracket on the starter solenoid. I tested it and the starter solenoid worked, which is sick because I thought the starter solenoid was bad and uh, I was about to order a new one, but uh, I came across this little bit of information earlier in the day and I just tested it and it worked. So now our push button start works as it should. Will Miss Parker fire up boys? Keep your fingers crossed for me. Here we go. Fuel. She died on us. We got her fired up though. She just didn't stay running. Woo! Let's go! All right, let's do it one more time. Come on, baby, stay running. She doesn't want to stay running though so I'm gonna to have to check that out in the parameters of the tune but I mean we got her running boys and girls oh my god I'm so excited I'm like shaking I'm so excited it's been a long time coming man Woo! that feels good how's that feel miss Parker it's been a while Hell yeah, man. Too bad she didn't stay running, but uh, at least she fired up and I could keep her running uh, as long as I was revving the car. But if I wasn't revving it, you guys saw she uh, died out pretty quick, but damn it. At least we got her fired up and we got the push button start working as it should. So that's sick. Well, you know what that means. We can officially cross this off the list and it's time to celebrate, boys. Whoopie! Cheers. <sighs> Although I would have loved for it to stay running and hold an idle, Miss Parker is just uh, fighting us every step of the way here. But that's all right. At least we got her running now. I know within the Holly, uh, we should be able to figure out why uh, the car is not idling. Also, before I put the intake manifold back on the car, uh, I put the new BBK throttle body back on the car and if you guys are OG subscribers you'll remember that we put this on the car a long time ago and she did not want to run at all similar to uh, what she's doing now maybe even a little worse before she was like getting super sputtery before so I'm thinking that we have to adjust the TPS sensor on the top of the throttle body uh, that might have something to do with it and then uh, yeah I'm gonna start there and once we do that if that's still uh, you know, if she's not idling at that point, then we'll go within the holly and try to figure it out. But God damn it, boys, Miss Parker's running again on the whole new setup. She's looking crazy. Whole new fuel system, tubular front end, tubular K member, all new front suspension. Let's go. New headlights. Looking so damn sexy. Let's go. I wish I knew what I was doing as far as tuning goes because uh, if I did I could just whip out the old laptop and skiddy bop you know what I'm saying whip up a tune for it and she'd be running as good as new but I have no idea what I'm doing uh, I'm hoping and I'm trying to learn what I'm doing as I go if that makes sense that's pretty much how I've done everything 
uh, with this whole build. But yeah, if I did know what I was doing, we'd be able to have her running like normal in no time. So if you do know what you're doing uh, on the Holly software and you want to help your boy out, shoot me an email, get in contact with me on Instagram, shoot me a message. Uh, maybe you guys do like wireless tuning or whatever and you would like to help me out. That'd be sick, but if not, you know, I'm just gonna learn how to do it myself. So it's just gonna take a little bit longer. But yeah, at least we got it running. Cause when we first tried earlier, the starter button, uh, the push button start wasn't even working at all. And I was like, you know, what the heck? I'm pretty sure I wired everything up correctly. That had me second guessing a whole bunch of sh And it turns out I did have it wired up correctly. Uh, I just didn't think that the bracket on the starter solenoid was the starter solenoid's ground. But uh, yeah, once I grounded the starter solenoid, everything worked as it should. So that is sick. Ms. Parker has officially started up for the first time on the new setup. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to jump to getting her running A1 just yet because we still have a lot of things to do. Uh, before we can drive her on the road like get some new seats in the car uh we have to get a cage we could probably test drive the car before the cage goes in because we're having some complications uh with the company of the cage right now nothing bad at all they just uh currently have paused production so i have to wait for them to open production back up in order to order a cage and uh yeah once you order one it takes like another six to eight weeks to get made and shipped to the house. But we can definitely test drive the car. Before then, I just wanna be as safe as possible, guys, because at this point, uh, you know, she's not gonna be the fastest thing in the world, but she is gonna move, and she really has no type of safety uh, within the car at all. There's no airbag. We cut out the crash bars. She's super light, so she's basically like a tin can on wheels right now. So I definitely wanna get a roll cage in the car as soon as possible. Uh, like I said, I'm just waiting for the company to get uh, everything moving again and then I'll order one of those uh, but yeah before then we need to get some seats installed in the car uh, we need to get brakes on the car I need to run brake lines because we took those off when we uh, took everything off of the front end why did we take those off oh because I wanted to replace the master cylinder and when you replace the master cylinder uh, to manual brakes you have to run new brake lines anyways and I didn't want the lines running on the back of the firewall there uh, I think I'm going to try to run them on the inside of the cow area just so you don't see them so yeah we need to run some brake lines to the front brakes and yeah a bunch of other little things we need to do before we can take Miss Parker on her maiden voyage but soon enough so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to hit the like button for me subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one be easy